beginning in the 70s, when TV viewers watched a program with Michael Landon in it, they were likely to see Victor French in it as well. It is well documented that for much of their lives, these two were very close friends. But you know what? It wasn't always that way. However, before I get going here, I want to say thank you to Lee Tracy Hall, who just happens to be Victor's daughter. I truly appreciate her willingness to share a few of her memories with me. Thanks again, Tracy. All right, let's get back to Victor and Michael. Although both of them had found success in the entertainment industry, initially they seemed to be marching down different paths. Michael was the young, handsome heartthrob, while Victor, who started out following in his father's footsteps as a stunt double in TV and movies, well, he found himself playing the heavies. You know, the guys that were often giving the characters played by Michael Landon and others a hard time. Yep, Victor was often cast as one of the bad guys. A rough, no-good Nick that someone like the Duke here would need to round up and throw in jail. So when Michael and Victor eventually did cross paths on the TV series Bonanza, both were firmly entrenched in the character stereotypes that they'd been playing on screen for years. However, when these guys were off camera, they were actually fairly similar in many ways. In fact, they both wanted to be directors. Landon had directed some episodes of Bonanza, and when Victor wasn't playing a bad guy on screen, he could be found directing episodes of Gunsmoke, among other things. When Bonanza finally wrapped up and Michael began searching for his next big project, he decided that the Little House books by Laura Ingalls Wilder were the perfect follow-up vehicle for him. The show was perfectly cast, and for those of us that have been around long enough to remember its debut on NBC, we know that it was an instant hit, and it certainly was in my home as well. My own father had read us the Little House books at bedtime, and because of that, this show quickly became my sister Valerie's favorite thing to watch each week. I liked it, but I didn't love it the same way that she did. That said, one character that I really did enjoy was this guy, Mr. Edwards, played by Victor French. A mountain man when the Ingalls family first encounters him, he quickly became a fan favorite and just like that, Victor French went from playing low life some bad guys to a role that would endear him to millions of children worldwide. French played Mr. Edwards just like I had imagined him when my father had read us the books. He was a rough and troubled salt of the earth kind of guy with an absolute heart of gold. Off screen, the friendship between Landon and French bloomed. From everything that I've read, it feels fair to say that they seemed to bring out the best in each other, and whenever they hung out, you knew that some sort of hijinks would occur. Both of these fellers knew how to have fun, and whenever they were together, the frivolity and mirth just seemed to increase exponentially. When Victor left Little House to take the leading role in a new comedy called Carter Country on ABC, his newly signed contract did not allow for appearances and shows on competing networks. And as such, he would not be able to appear as Mr. Edwards for an extended period of time. And while French was excited at the prospects of having his own show, he did feel badly that he wouldn't be able to continue to play the character that he loved so much. You know, there had been some conversation about Mr. Edwards having his own show, but at the end of the day, things just couldn't get worked out and Victor... He felt badly that he hadn't been able to come to some sort of agreement with the folks that were putting together the deal. But even more importantly, he worried about his friendship with Michael. That said, Victor shouldn't have worried, because when Carter Country ended its run after a couple of seasons, Michael reached out to Victor and asked him if he wanted to come back to Little House. Fortunately, this time around, all parties were able to agree on a new deal that truly seemed to acknowledge the popularity of Victor on the show. I still remember the excitement in my home when we learned that Mr. Edwards was coming back. In a 1985 interview, French credited Landon with being, quote, the first to see beyond my looks, unquote, pushing to get him the part in Little House that allowed him to branch out from villain roles. According to French, the network wanted a name actor, but Michael stood by his guns and gave him the role that changed his career. Over the course of the remaining seasons of Little House, Victor became something of a mainstay on the series, appearing over 50 times. And when that show ended, and Michael began considering what would be next, one of the requirements was that his friend, Victor, be part of it. And Highway to Heaven turned out to be the perfect TV series for both of them. In addition to starring with Landon in the show, an agreement was made to allow Victor to direct every third episode. You know, I've always had a soft spot for movies and television shows about angels in heaven. 
And this show really turned out to be something special, as Jonathan Smith, Michael played an angel who wanders from town to town, helping people learn how to be more kind and understanding. And on the show, French played a cynical ex-cop who over time became Jonathan's earthly assistant. The show was tons of fun, and week after week I learned the value of genuinely caring for others. And I still remember the episode where Michael got to reprise his role that started it all. Of course, it's all part of a dream sequence, but it's still fun. No doubt about it, those two were so good together. They were such a wonderful team. In 1989, Victor was diagnosed with lung cancer, and Michael stood by him and gave him the needed moral support as he fought for survival. Sadly, it was a battle that he would lose. Victor French succumbed to the disease on June 15, 1989. He was just 54 years old. Ironically, June 15th is my sister Valerie's birthday, and she had passed away earlier in the year after her own brave and valiant battle with cystic fibrosis. I wish I could say that in his next series, Michael found a way to pay tribute to his dear friend, but I can't. Because as most of you already know, there wasn't another series for Michael after Highway to Heaven. While on a ski trip in my home state of Utah in 1991, Michael started to get migraines that were really unbearable, and after a visit to the doctor and a host of tests, it was determined that Michael had developed a form of pancreatic cancer that was swift moving and unfortunately inoperable. Just months later, Michael Landon would pass away. While he was gone, he would never be forgotten, and Landon's legacy lives on to this very day in the hearts of those that he touched in both large and small ways. I think Melissa Gilbert, yep, half pint herself, said it best when she said, that when you were around Michael, you just felt safe and cared for, regardless of who you were. So that's it. You know, I really did love the work of both of these very fine actors and directors. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And what the heck? Why not consider subscribing to the channel? I talk about music, movies, and television mostly from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.